Unified Theory of Everything, Diverse Link Physics, Summary, Logic 1. Field momentum is the only fundamental force. All existence is made out of field momentum. All diversities evolved from field momentum. All field momentum travels at light speed square constantly and perpetually. There can only be a single type of fundamental force. Any other definition is derivatives. A single universal fundamental force is necessary to explain Big Bang chronology, entropy reverse simulation, and answer common sense and logic. In the original state, everything must behave and interact in the simplest and universal manner. Four fundamental forces, quarks, leptons, and other particles in standard model, and even space and time, evolve from the same universal constituent and interaction. A single type of fundamental force means it has universal, constant, and perpetual characteristics, speed, and interactivity. 2. All momentum must interact with other momentum, directly or indirectly, in the simplest manner, transfer of momentum. No existence can be isolated from fundamental interaction or alter it. 3. Any interaction causes field momentum to become slower, from an outsider's perspective. Any interaction means momentum is traveling in more deviated routes, as momentum is transferred to the surrounding fields and back decreasing its overall speed from an outsider's perspective. Hi, I'm Ashyong. Diversting is my philosophy. Diversting physics is the unified theory I'm developing. Configuration A field system is a self-regenerating configuration of field momentum, which is only possible in recycling trajectories. Particle is momentum in regenerating configuration, where momentum is conserved into a particle form. Any particle is opposite trajectories with the same frequency. Proton or positron trajectory is counterclockwise absorbed. Electron or antiproton's trajectory is clockwise absorbed. Atom is integrated field system primarily to balance trajectories. Molecules is integrated field system to balance trajectories and shells. Light is momentum in strict configuration. Space is momentum with no configuration. Synchronized equilibrium. Our momentum must move and interact with surrounding constantly, which is the only logical definition of momentum or energy. So energy in particle must be exiting constantly, and on the same principle, energy must be entering the particle constantly. Excess synchronized momentum will interfere with itself and unsynchronize. Insufficient synchronized momentum will resonate with surrounding and synchronize. This is the sync equilibrium of all fundamental particles, which maintains its universal size and density. From one fundamental force to four attributes. Electromagnetic force is interaction with synchronized momentum. Gravitational force is interaction with unsynchronized momentum. Strong force is repelling momentum trajectories bent into binding trajectories. Excess protons in the nucleus may jointly generate an electron between them as an trajectory adapter, subsequently fused to become a neutron. This is the weak force, which is essentially unstable configuration's tendency to readjust itself to a more stable configuration. An atom may have imbalanced charges, thus the need to form molecular bonds. Physicists didn't call this effect the fifth fundamental force, because electron shell's stability is a more relevant and illustrative explanation. Diverse link theory demonstrates precisely how a single fundamental force, field momentum, developed into the four observed qualities. Mass versus gravity. Everything is made of momentum, constantly traveling and interacting at universal rate. This is the only logical definition of fundamental energy. Energy can never stop. If it appears to be stationary from a distance, it is just conserved by performing repetitive action. Mass is simply energy's position stability against its surrounding. So mass can only be achieved by momentum traveling in regenerating routes, which can be measured by Mass equals energy times density times curvature. Note that mass is relative to its surrounding. So same amount of energy will have higher mass if its density is higher. As higher density with surrounding density, aka gravity, generates higher momentum transfer initial, which is more difficult to change and regenerate itself elsewhere in the gravity field. Curvature of momentum trajectories max when momentum travel in complete cycles, which is 1. Usually if the configuration curvature is less than 1, it will quickly synchronize into 1 or decay into 0. The mass effect A field system aka particle or mass 
is momentum traveling in regenerating routes. Synchronized momentum maintaining same field density around itself, limiting how much surrounding unsynchronized momentum can disperse, as it needs unsynchronized momentum to adapt interaction differentials with surrounding. The gravity effect. Light and traveling matter bends towards denser momentum field aka gravity because they are made out of momentum, constantly emitting and absorbing momentum, and is regenerated closer to denser momentum field constantly. The anti-gravity effect. Space doesn't exist. Space is gravity. Gravity is unsynchronized momentum. Unsynchronized momentum interferes with each other and disperse as much as possible. Gravity effect only applies to configured momentum, for example light and matter. Space-to-space -space interaction usually results in diffusion to minimum density. The mass and anti-gravity effects generate extreme difference of field densities, thus the perception of matter and space. Dark matter. Distribution and rotation of mass traps unsynchronized momentum more effectively, generating the effects of dark matter. Galaxies' mass distribution and rotation is more effective in trapping space, causing space to gain slightly conserving trajectories, position stability against outside of the galaxy, thus mass. Dark energy. Momentum not constrained by mass will continue to disperse till minimum interaction, generating the effects of dark energy. Unsynchronized waves will interfere with each other and disperse as much as possible until minimal interaction. Expanding universe is common sense when space is visualized as unsynchronized momentum interfering with each other. Time doesn't exist. A dimension is a platform where existences can co-interact with each other. No first, second, fourth or any above dimensions can support that. Time is not a dimension where existences can interact in different directions. The past have influenced the present, the present will influence the future, but never ever in the opposite direction. Momentum in denser field need to interact with more momentum, thus it appears to be slower when measured from outside of the field. Thus, time, which is actually activity, seems to slow down in denser field. From momentum curving into particle form to light bending around planets, are all same effects of time dilation or space contraction. The collaboration of different rates of activities orchestrate the illusion of an omnipresent time. Time and space does not exist. Both evolve from few momentum interactions. Diversification of speed of activity and density creates the illusion of time and space. Singularity When a super implosion occurs, vast amount of momentum are squeezed into an immensely small area where they are forced to interact in conflicting trajectories, forcing most of the momentum to synchronize into one spinning sphere trajectory in order to contain all the momentum. If such sphere is big enough, it can maintain its configuration even when the implosion stops, instead of being pulled apart by surrounding into sync equilibrium. Field density around it is so high that it absorbs back most emitted momentum almost instantly, causing the sphere to increase in total amount of energy and size maintaining absolute synchronicity and maximum density. This is singularity. Unlike proton or electron, it overwhelms sync equilibrium. Thus, it can grow bigger. A gigantic ball of spinning light, so bright that nobody can see it. It can dissolve all other configurations into raw field momentum and synchronize them to become part of itself. Big Bang Singularity increasing momentum increases interference within itself till interference overwhelms the threshold of synchronicity and all the momentum explodes from singularity with maximum interference. This is the Big Bang. Big Bang Mirage All universes, all existence, evolve the same way. Everything exists and interacts on the same three-dimensional platform. Same principles, similar evolution, but with immeasurable interactions creating unlimited diversities. Expansion of observable universe indicates most observed matter emerged from one point. It cannot prove space around the point didn't exist before it exploded, or the rest of the multiverse does not exist on the same platform. They just dissipated further away when our black hole exploded, creating the mirage of Big Bang creating time and space, energy and matter, laws of physics from our perspective. When vast amount of unsynchronized momentum is released from singularity, space around it, which is also unsynchronized momentum, are interfered and diffused further away even till today, until it reaches minimum interaction.
logic of existence. It is impossible for fundamental force to have different characteristics. It is impossible for any existence to interact in different manner. Time, space, matter, gravity, all evolved from same fundamental energy. A single type of energy went through anthropic diversification such that perspective can be formed. Measurements of differences are possible. Some energy evolved to become different elements, molecules. Some energy evolved to become life, intelligence, and consciousness. Consciousness which is simply a more intricate configuration of energy that is capable to manipulate other less evolved energy, even develop curiousness about itself and other diversities, trying to understand the connection between them. A formula that has always existed, have developed countless times, and will continue to reoccur infinitely. Diverslink. Implications Debunked Pseudo-dimensions capable of choosing when and how to interact with reality String theory Different laws of physics Multiple fundamental forces Multiple fundamental particles At least they cannot be called fundamental Anti-neutrons Gluons Bosons Higgs Gravitons Antiquarks etc. Time travelling Wormhole White hole And even black hole Which is not exactly a hole But super synchronized momentum Resolved. What is time? What is space? Universal energy sizes, for example, proton and electron, or at least when they are stable. Universal light speed. And why nothing can travel faster than light? Because everything is traveling at light speed squared, just in different directions. Matter and antimatter, bion asymmetry. Illustrate precisely how positive and negative charge attracts. Dark matter, dark energy. Before and after universe, beyond universe. Unified. Four fundamental forces. All particles, stable and unstable. Time and space. Mass and gravity. Energy and mass. The real E equals to mc squared. Mass equals energy times density times curvature. Wave particle duality. Unified the big and small. Quantum mechanics and relativity. Measuring the field density difference of particle and surrounding gravity. Quantum mechanics can transcend seamlessly into relativity and much beyond. Diverse link. How can observer measure anything if everything is perfectly synchronized? Any act of observation is essentially a measurement of difference. But how can everything interact universally if they are fundamentally different? The only explanation is, a single type of fundamental force interacts with itself to create all diversities. Alright, that's all for now. I hope you find this theory interesting. And if you do, please like this video, share it, and remember to subscribe for more. Diverslink physics is an entirely new theory. Leave your questions and comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.